Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me here on IPO Market Watch. We're going to talk about Microvision before the market's open, way before the market's open. It's uh, very early right now. All right, so let's look at Microvision. Is Microvision a buy or is it not a buy? I will tell you in this video towards the end. Of course, if it's a buy or not, is just uh, for me. It's not. Uh, I'm not telling you that it's not a buy for you or that it is a buy for you. Uh, but let's look at this because actually this this company's quite interesting quite interesting let me look let's look first at the chart right mvis is the ticker symbol this is the one year chart there was a point in this year in april when this company had reached as high as 28 29 us dollars right it was around here 28 yeah it seems like 28 bucks um and then uh basically has gone down to six dollars and 40 cents as it closed the the previous uh, uh on friday um, Microvision, yeah, let's look at this. What is Microvision? Microvision Corporation develops LiDAR sensors uh, used in automotive safety and autonomous driving applications. Its laser beam scanning technology is based on micro electrical mechanical systems, laser diodes, optomechanics, electronics, algorithms, and software, right? They're, they're not brand new company. They're actually a veteran in this business. So the company sells its products primarily to original equipment manufacturers and original design manufacturers. Microvision Corporation was founded in 1993. 640, like we said, here is from their website, a leader in autom an automotive uh, uh, LiDAR re resolution, full velocity, long range automotive LiDAR sensor. Microvision's LiDAR technology enhances the capabilities of drivers to respond to everyday driving conditions. We build our automotive LiDAR products on proprietary micro uh, systems, solid state technology based on uh, time of flight architecture and so on. Here's something that people are connecting Microvision with, right? and this is recent. They're looking at Hyundai Motor Group, which is ranked third in global auto sales. And they're saying that Hyundai, which became an auto OEM member of the high drive project, thus, without any proof really, uh, that Hyundai will be using uh, Microvision products. So let's look at let's look at some things though about Microvision. I'll tell you some uh, some things right now. Uh, Microvision is actually a very, like I said in the beginning of the video, a very interesting company because advances in autonomous driving technology paired with tightening regulations over vehicle safety have underpinned global demand for automotive LiDAR sensors in recent years. Microvision, though, is a veteran in the development of laser beam scanning technology. They're, they're actually, they know what they're doing, and they, they, that technology is used in LiDAR sensors. It is one of the several companies vying for a share of the growing automotive LiDAR market. Microvision has recently developed a long-range automotive LiDAR that has an unmatchable range capability of up to 250 meters with high resolution and the ability to detect other lighters in range. In addition to best-in-class performance, the compact nature of Microvision's long-range lighter and competitive pricing enabled by scalability makes the product well-positioned for growth opportunities ahead. So it all sounds really good, but they have significant financial problems, which is the reason why uh, there's also the, a lot of bears against microvision right let's look at their total revenue here for microvision the total revenue in 2016 was 14.7 2017 drops to 9.6 which was a negative 34.7 percent in 2018 they go up 82 percent to 17.6 uh, million then they drop again 49.5 percent in 2019 to 8.8 .8, and then a 65 percent drop in 2000 20 to 3. As far as revenue is concerned, it's not just inconsistent, but it's more of a downward trend. And that's the reason why there's a lot of bears. One of the reasons why there's a lot of bears uh, against the company. There's more here, gross profit, other expenses you can see here and so on. Am I bearish on Microvision? Am I bearish on Microvision? Uh, probably not. I'm, I'm actually not bearish, but I do think that Investing in Microvision is going to present a lot of headaches along the way. Till now, as far as a short squeeze, we can't. You know, a short squeeze can happen at any time on any stock, whatever, and it can skyrocket on no fundamentals. Could Microvision be a short squeeze candidate? Yes, it can, of course, and it might be. So if it rises really high in a short amount of time, it's not because of fundamentals, because because fundamentally the company financially is you know is not doing all right. It's not doing the best, let's say. Uh, but here's the thing: is I believe that Microvision will have a good long-term outlook. But short to medium, 
as far as fundamentals is not is not pretty and that could present headaches big headaches and and I think that if people want to get into this, be careful not to get into it on the, at a time when a short squeeze takes place and you buy it at some really high peak, right? So it is a buy in the long term, in my opinion. But you have to accept big headaches, and if you can, and and a lot of patience, I think. So if you can accept that, in the end, I think the microvision will be a winning stock. Here's there's total. We can look at total occurring assets. Let's look at 2020 with 17.5. The total current liabilities in 2020 was 10. All right, so despite the lack of good news, financials not looking so great. They missed their current, their most recent revenue estimates. Uh, they do have a promising future, and you know what? They missed their most revenue estimates by 102 thousand dollars, 100 thousand bucks, which is kind of dumb to be so bearish on the company because of that. This is a 1.5, this is a 1.45 billion dollar market cap company. So the current price to sales ratio of MBIS stock is a whopping 620 x 629 times. So clearly this company isn't valued for its current sales pipeline. The company has made improvements in its earnings. Its loss per share in Q3 2021 was 6 cents per share. This was smaller than the expected 0. negative uh, 0. 0.03 cent, uh, 3 cents per share. Companies like Microvision are still in the midst of developing their technology and market, right? So therefore they still have promising future ahead. The company's adjusted EBITDA loss grew uh, from negative 2.1 million to 6.2 million. More cash used in Q3 2021 as well as the operations cash burn was $10 million compared to 3.5 million at the same time. All right, overall, like I said, it's financially not the greatest company. Headaches along the way. Short squeeze possible. Be careful not to buy on the peak of a short squeeze. Long-term outlook seems promising. Thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you guys all the best. Take care.